In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up Premiere Pro to enable you to use your graphics processor for hardware acceleration, as well as hardware encoding and hardware decoding. If we go over to the menu bar and go to File, and we scroll down, if we go to Project Settings, and we go to General, here we see we have the option for GPU acceleration. GPU acceleration is gonna help for a real-time special effect, such as color correction, picture-in-picture, -picture, motion blur, things like that. It's not gonna help encode or decode. I'm gonna hit cancel because that's set up correctly. If we go over to the menu bar and go to edit and we scroll down to preferences and we select media, here's where we have the option for hardware encoding and decoding. I have NVIDIA selected. You can select Intel if your Intel CPU has Intel's QuickSync. I'm gonna hit cancel because it's set up the exact way I want it. I'm going to hit play really quick. Here we can see the CPU is hardly being used at all. The GPU, my RTX 2070, is being used, but the integrated graphics processor from Intel is not being used because I didn't select Intel. Everything's working the way it should. If we go to video decode, it is decoding. If we put more layers on it, you're going to see it's decoding even more. See the numbers spike up? So everything is working as you would expect because of the way I set up Premiere Pro. Now, if we wanna render using the GPU, we've already got NVIDIA selected. So all I have to do is go over to, well, let me select this. Let me go over to the menu bar, go down to file. Let me hit export media. Let me get this out of the way for just a second. I've got H.264 selected. and the hardware encoding and decoding really only helps for H.264 and H.265. So if you're using ProRes or B-RAW, it's not going to help you out at all. But there you see hardware encoding. I could set this at 20. I could set it at 40. I'll just set it at 40 so people know I, I made a change really quick. Now I'm going to hit Export. If I bring Windows Task Manager down here where people can see it, look at the CPU is hardly being used at all. The GPU is being used quite a lot. We can see it's doing video encoding and decoding both. This is exactly what we would expect if things are set up 100% correct. If we go to the menu bar, select File, and we scroll down to Project Settings and select General, we can see I still am using my graphics processor to do the special effects like a picture, picture, color correction, motion blur. I'm gonna hit cancel because that's set up correct. I'm gonna to go to the menu bar again, go to edit. I'm gonna scroll down to preferences and I'm gonna select media. As you can tell, this time I have Intel selected instead of Nvidia. I'm gonna hit cancel because it's set up exactly how I want it. If I hit play and bring up Windows Task Manager, as you can see, we're using the integrated graphics processor of Intel because the integrated graphics processor has the Intel QuickSync module. The CPU is hardly being used, which is what you'd expect. You're going to notice the integrated graphics processor will be used more as more and more layers are added. Everything is working 100% correct. If we go over to the menu bar, go to File, Go to Project Setting. Once again, I got GPU Acceleration enabled. I'm gonna hit Cancel. This time, if we go to the menu bar, go to Edit, scroll down to Preference, and we select Media. This time, I don't have any hardware acceleration for encoding or decoding. I'm gonna hit Cancel because that's how I want it for the purpose of this video. I'll bring up the Task Manager. Now, if I hit Play, The CPU is being used a lot more than it was. The GPU from my Intel integrated graphics processor and my RTX 2070 aren't really being used at all. To cut to the chase, if I go to multiple layers, now we see my CPU is really getting pegged. You can probably hear the fan winding out right now. I am now going to render using just the CPU. 
I'll go over to the menu bar, select File, go over to Export Media. If we scroll down, you can tell it's selected software encoding only. It's kind of grayed out. You can't use hardware acceleration because I didn't select Intel or NVIDIA. It's going to just be simply software only. We do have more control, though. I'm going to set this parameter to 90. The sequence is a 4K sequence. I didn't mention that earlier. And we're going to export. Here we see my CPU is getting used 100%. My fan is winding out at 100% as well. You can probably hear it in the background. The GPUs aren't being used at all to do any of the decoding or encoding at this point in time because I didn't enable Intel or NVIDIA. I want to end this video by stating only select graphics cards from AMD and NVIDIA will support all of these features. For some of you, using Intel's QuickSync might be the better option.